for your emotions down the stretch because I mean you're rushing to call a timeout, get everything set up. I guess first take us through your thought process setting up that last shot for Marcus to get to the line. Uh, well, we know you know basically all game he was getting anywhere he wanted on the floor. Um, but it was such a physical game, and you know they've been so physical with him. He wasn't, you know, the referee. When you get to this, they, they're not calling no little ticky tack fouls. So we had to keep telling them, listen, go through it. You gotta go through them. You're getting where you need to go. We just knew, like I told him, it's not about. I rather you miss 20 shots in the first half and make them in the fourth when they count the most. And that's what he did. Ignatius have been through the last two state final fours. Most of their team is back from last year. What did it take to pull this one out? I mean, honestly, just you see us, you see a great team to me um, because honestly, we did it without one, one of our heart and souls, and that's Tommy Ben. So, if anybody, if you tell me Tommy Ben wasn't playing today, people, anybody would have picked Ignatius, but we got some tough guys, man. But it worked in our favor because uh, the fact that usually we go small ball with one big. And this was a game where we knew St. Ignatius played two traditional bigs, and it kind of worked in our favor. So we went with three guards and two bigs, and that, that really helped us in a game like this. It helped you in a game against Cleveland Heights, if I remember right, late in the regular season on the road, too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but what do you make of Dre, and is this as big as he's played? I mean, he has some big block shots, a lot of vital rebounds, playing against those bigs on the other side. Dre has Dre is one of the top prospects in the state of Ohio. Uh, he's a late bloomer. He's only going to get better. Um, you can see him now. I mean, he, down, he's, he's, he changes the game because he's a shot blocker. It's hard for anybody to get layups around the basket. And he rebounded the ball. I mean, he got big-time rebounds today, and that's what we needed. You guys had a, uh, you know, a few years ago, a crazy <laughs> triple overtime game against St. Ignatius. Yes, oh, you how remember you, that, huh? How do, your nerves compare, <laughs> how do your nerves compare to that one, if you remember? Because that was a classic. Well, yeah, that was a classic. And, um... I mean, I, when you got two really good teams, um, they're going to be, this was a classic. I mean, shoot. Only thing is, I mean, I'm happy you didn't go to overtime. Did, no, it didn't. Mean. I didn't go to overtime, but it did, did it? Not this oh, one. Oh, thank God. The right. other one went I'm so overtime. messed up still for the game, so I don't know if it went over. But it was a classic. I mean, it went down to the wire. And, and that's what you did. When, you, when you're dealing with good kids who's, who's coachable and, uh, you know, try to do whatever it takes to win, that's what, you, that's what it comes down to. Another game, another game, under, another game where your, de your team's defense held the team under 43 points. How does that, what does that speak about your team late, late in the playoffs now, the team defense? Is going into you know, with a chance to go to the final four. Uh, we know one thing, man. Defense wins games, and when you get to this level, all the games. If you go watch most of the state games in Division One, they're close. You know, it comes. Most of them are in the forties or fifties. Nobody's, you know, everybody knows everybody's plays. Everybody knows, you know, you know what everybody likes to do. And you know, these coaches are coaching at a high level right now. So at the end of the day, you know, it's gonna come down to defense. We talked about this last round, but playing his old team, being in this gym before, how important was CJ's experience for him? Well, CJ's experience was everything. CJ um, is a winner. He's a, he's a flat out winner. And I feel, I'm gonna say this, I feel I, I have the best backcourt in the state. Um, and that's, you know, and thank God they're coming back, you know, but they, they're winners. I mean, you talk about CJ, he controlled the game. He knew who to get the ball to. Him and Marcus feeds off each other. And you can't replace the, the chemistry they have right now. And, and, and the leadership CJ brings with just knowing how to win. Do you think it showed when uh, Marcus misses that first free throw and he said a little something to him and gets him to hit that second one? Well, I'm happy he said something to him because if he would have missed, he would have got a whoop and if he got home, he would have missed that second one. So <laughs> I'm happy he said something to him because I told him if you missed that other one, he's going to get a little spanking. But no, it's all good. Lastly, unrelated. Mm -hmm.